Great to see he is healthy again. Well, new at 11, there is trucker trouble here in Nevada. 13 Investigates has learned that there is a traffic jam of students trying to get through the process, but they can't because of COVID-19. Well, let's get to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels tonight, who is live near Lake Mead and the 95 with the details for us, Joe. Yeah, Tricia, it takes a lot of skill and practice to take the road and get behind one of the wheels here of a vehicle that could weigh up to 80 thousand pounds and COVID-19 has closed DMV offices really across the country, including here in Nevada, and that has really put the brakes on a critical process for commercial driver's licenses to get processed. From the moment the invisible enemy landed on our shores, America's 3.5 million truckers have never wavered at all. They've been praised by the president, and they are truly heroes behind the wheel, delivering when we needed it the most. But there's a growing backup. We uh, train uh, students to become safe professional truck drivers. Brad Ball is president of Roadmaster Driver School. Since the COVID-19 shutdown, all Nevada trucking driving students or those seeking a commercial driver's license, known simply as a CDL, can't get their learner's permits. Uh, states driver's license agencies uh, have, in some cases, closed. Uh, 27 states are, uh, are open across the country, 23 uh, are, are, are not operating or they're operating on such a limited basis that commercial drivers are having a hard time or commercial uh, driving students are having a hard time getting the permits they need. Authorities with Nevada's Department of Motor Vehicles tells 13 Investigates there's no time frame of opening up the CDL process and there is no workaround from the state's perspective. Students must have a qualified driver with them at all times, which would also violate social distancing guidelines inside the cab of a big rig. You know, I also really appreciate everything the DMV has done so far in terms of trying to ensure that the trucks that are on the road can keep rolling, um, extending the extending the, the registration, extending the CDLs. Paul Enos with the Nevada Trucking Association says he's been working with Nevada authorities to come up with solutions. Already, he says there was a shortage of truckers before COVID-19, and now the virus has stalled new drivers from getting on the road. More and more people are calling us and, and inquiring as to our program to try and find out how trucking can be perhaps their new career. Ball says his driver's school could issue learners permits and keep students from being idle. But 13 Investigates has learned the Nevada DMV does not have the technology or legislative power to ensure the integrity of these commercial driving tests. And back out here live tonight, very little traffic on the 95 and safety, of course, is always paramount for the drivers behind the wheel of those vehicles. Again, that could weigh up to 40 tons. This closure also impacts people trying to get their traditional driver's license as well. People can't go in there and get those tests done and there's no time frame of when things could reopen. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.